We've taken a look at the best armor power-up from every Mega Man X game already, so now, naturally, it's time to take a look at the worst upgrade from every Mega Man X game, X through X8. I'm not sure where to draw the line between upgrade and downgrade here, but I mean, hey, I guess we'll find out. Mega Man X, the first Mega Man X game on the Super Nintendo, and the first Mega Man game to have upgradable armors like this. You could argue that, like, Mega Man 6 had those rush armors, but we all know that's not the same thing. With this being the first armor in the X series, most of the upgrades are very standard and get improved upon further as the series goes on, but I've always thought this was a really great set of armor overall. But despite my feelings for this armor, we are still going to have to choose part of it as the worst. There are five parts, of course, with four individual individual armor upgrades and a secret Hadouken, but obviously the Hadouken is not the worst, right? I feel like I shouldn't have to say that, but just in case I do have to say that, the Hadouken is not the worst because I love Tekken. The Buster upgrade is also not going to be the worst because the ability to charge weapons is just way too useful. The super giant charge shot thing is cool too, but the main appeal is definitely the 8 new abilities you get from being able to charge your weapons. You can also get Zero's Buster if you somehow didn't find the Buster upgrade before getting to Sigma, but it's almost exactly the same, so it's not going to be the worst either. Plus, I like Zero, so if anything, that would be cooler. The chest armor upgrade is also extremely useful because it practically doubles your health by reducing all damage by half. You could probably argue that it's useless if you're a pro gamer and never get hit by enemies anyway, but even if that is the case, it still looks really cool. And I don't know about you guys, but I like it when Mega Man looks cool, so I'm always gonna go get this armor. Also, so like I said in the last video, the way you get the chest armor is awesome because you have to battle this weird robot and maybe I shouldn't consider that for this video, but whatever, I don't care. With the obvious choices out of the way though, the worst armor upgrade from Mega Man X is of course going to come down to either the dash upgrade or the helmet upgrade. This should be pretty obvious, but I've seen some people hate on the dash upgrade just because it becomes a default ability as the series goes on. I do agree that the dash should be a default ability in Mega Man X, but I I want it to be a default ability because it's incredibly useful. Besides, outside of challenging yourself for the fun of it, are you really going to play Mega Man X without the dash upgrade? No, you're not. You're probably going to go straight to Chill Penguin first, just like everybody else because you want to get the dash upgrade so bad, don't you? So yeah, we all knew this already, but the worst armor from Mega Man X is definitely the helmet upgrade. This may be one of the worst armor upgrades of all time, and I hate it. If I ever do some Mega Man top 10s in the future and I make a video on the top 10 worst armor upgrades in the Mega Man X series, you can expect this helmet upgrade to be pretty high up on that list. All this upgrade does is allow you to break bricks with your head, but not just any old bricks you find, oh no, only specific bricks that are in two places in the entire game! One of the places you can break bricks is right outside the place you receive your helmet upgrade, and these bricks are only used as an example, but the only other place in the game you can use this upgrade is in flame mammoth stage to get the buster upgrade, which means the only purpose of getting the helmet upgrade is to get the buster upgrade. If I remember correctly, I think also you might not take damage from the falling rocks and sting chameleon stage if you have the helmet upgrade, but I could just be insane, I don't remember for sure. But even if that's true, that's still stupid. Not only is this helmet upgrade pretty much pointless, but it also isn't even easy to use. Trying to break those stupid bricks with your stupid helmet wearing head is probably one of the most difficult things you're expecting expected to do in the entirety of Mega Man X. If you mess up trying to get the buster upgrade, you can actually lock yourself out of getting the dang thing, meaning you have to game over and restart. This thing is horrible in literally every capacity. It only has one stupid job and it isn't even good at that, which is why the helmet upgrade is obviously the worst armor upgrade from Mega Man X. Mega Man X2 is a lot like Mega Man X1 in practically every capacity and the armor upgrades are certainly no exception. There are of course four pieces of armor upgrades as usual and one secret upgrade being the Shoryuken. Again, obviously the Shoryuken is not going to be the worst upgrade, I mean yeah, it is slightly worse than the Hadouken I guess, but I've been a huge fan of Guilty Gear my entire life so I couldn't force myself to hate on this thing if I tried. The Buster upgrade is also an improved version of the original Buster upgrade which means this is also of course not going to qualify for being 
being the worst. Not only does this thing charge your weapons and have a supercharged shot, but this supercharged shot is actually useful against the bosses, unlike the supercharged shot for Mega Man X1. It literally just ignores invincibility frames, and I hate invincibility frames, so this thing is epic. The armor is exactly the same as the one for Mega Man X1, reducing all damage by half, but this one also gives you the Giga Attack. Now, I'm not typically a huge Giga Attack user, but this thing certainly comes in handy at a few points in the game, which makes it even more useful than the original chest upgrade. I'm not sure why the Giga Attack was included in the chest armor and not the helmet or something, but we'll talk more about helmets and how stupid they are later in this video, trust me. The dash upgrade now allows you to dash midair, and I guess you could argue that this isn't the most useful thing in the world, but I really do not care. I think dashing in the air is one of the coolest things you could possibly do as a Mega Man X player, so this upgrade is always going to get my personal seal of approval. Maybe it's just because I like to speedrun games, and being able to dash in the air gives you a lot of speedy mobility, but either way, you are never going to catch me calling Mega Man X2's dash upgrade the worst. Which means the worst armor upgrade from Mega Man X2 is once again going to be the helmet upgrade. With the horrible helmet from the last game, you'd think pretty much anything they'd come up with would be an improvement, but no, this certainly is not an improvement. Luckily, you do not have to break bricks, which is nice, but the only thing this helmet does is give you the ability to scan for secrets in a nearby radius. I mean, aside from the fact this could only possibly be useful in each location one time in your entire life, assuming you don't forget where things are, it also doesn't even really show you secrets all that well. The secrets have to be on screen with you, otherwise it doesn't do anything, which I feel like kind of defeats the purpose. Maybe if this thing shows you like a radar or an arrow or something to every secret in the map, maybe, just maybe it could be defended a little bit more, but even then it honestly wouldn't even be all that good. You know, because me and my subscribers are all Mega Man experts. <laughs> Get it, Mega Man expert? And we already know where every secret in this game and really every Mega Man game is anyway, but if you want to be as cool as us, you better subscribe. Though I will be honest, this helmet upgrade does look really cool. I still get it every time I play Mega Man X2 just because of that. But regardless of looks, the helmet upgrade is once again the worst armor upgrade from Mega Man X2. Mega Man X3 was the last Mega Man X game to release on the Super Nintendo, and the more I talk about how much I enjoy this game, the more people seem to complain about it. I understand maybe it's not as iconic as Mega Man X1, but this game is a masterpiece. It took everything the original Mega Man X did and improved upon it in pretty much every aspect. Sure, it is pretty difficult, but only if you're new to the Mega Man X series, and even still, I played this game and Mega Man X1 at the same time as my first Mega Man X games, and even as a kid, I still preferred Mega Man X3 to despite its difficulty. Now, I don't blame anyone for liking Mega Man X1 more at all. Mega Man X1 is pretty much a perfect video game, and even Mega Man X2 is a flawless work of art. But I will not tolerate any more Mega Man X3 slander, I'm tired of hearing it. Unless you're a subscriber, of course, then you can say whatever you want. Anyway, much like Mega Man X1 and Mega Man X2, this game has four armor upgrades and one secret upgrade being Zero Saver, but on top of that, Mega Man X3 also has four extra armor upgrade chips and a super secret gold armor. Now, the gold armor is the best Mega Man X armor of all time. This thing is obviously not going to be the worst, and if you think it is the worst, then you are stupid and dumb and an idiot and probably smelly and- The Zero Saber upgrade is also overpowered, and I like Zero a lot, so any upgrade he feels like giving me at any moment is always welcome in my book. As far as the regular four pieces of armor go, though, this game improves upon almost everything. The Buster upgrade may not be as good as the one from Mega Man X2, but it is really close. It's just, if anything, slightly more awkward to use and land hits on, but it certainly looks way cooler and seems to take out more enemies. The chest armor has all of your damage taken as usual, but this one, instead of giving you a giga attack, it gives you a 5 second force field where you take even less damage. I did say this upgrade was weird in my best upgrades video, and well, that's because it is, but that does not mean it's awful. I actually like this upgrade a lot despite its weirdness, so if you were expecting me to say this armor was the worst, first of all, why? Why would you expect me to say this armor is the worst for Mega Man X3? But more importantly, you're wrong, it's not! The dash is also an improved version of the dash from Mega Man X2, which is great. Not only are you able to dash midair, but you're also able to dash vertically. This is one of my favorites, if not my number one favorite dash upgrade in the entire Mega Man X series, just because it makes you feel so powerful in the platforming sections. The helmet's upgrade is also the first one that isn't entirely a disaster, which is pretty nice. It isn't great though, don't get your hopes up, all it does is show you the map 
map when you load in, which if anything is kind of annoying, but it also shows you which upgrades you've already collected and which ones you need to collect on the stage select screen, as well as where to collect them, which is by far the most useful thing any helmet upgrade in Mega Man X has ever done up to this point, which is kind of sad that that's all Mega Man X3's helmet had to do to make that be the case, but whatever. Despite the helmets being the clear worst we've talked about so far, we still don't know if it's the number one worst because of the chip upgrades in this game. You would think these are all really good, but because they actually lock you out of getting the gold armor, I literally never use any of these and you shouldn't either. The helmet chip upgrade does actually heal you while you're standing still, as well as fill up your sub tank too, so that chip surprisingly is not going to be the worst. Even though it is a helmet upgrade chip, you would think that would be the worst, but no, it's actually good. You get healed for crying out loud, that's a good thing. The dash chip upgrade of course lets you dash twice midair, which is absolutely insane, and the armor upgrade reduces damage even further, which is always nice. But the absolute worst armor upgrade for Mega Man X3 is going to come down to either the helmet upgrade or the buster upgrade chip. The buster upgrade chip only gives you the hyperactive charge shot weapon thing, and this weapon isn't bad, don't get me wrong, it's just not that great, especially when compared to every other upgrade chip. Obviously, this seems more useful than the helmet upgrade at first, but with the buster chip actively preventing you from being able to access the golden armor, I've gotta say, the buster chip is actually the worst upgrade. Sure, the helmet's only use is helping you keep track of upgrades, but I mean, come on. Imagine turning down the best armor in the entire Mega Man X series because you wanted a fast auto charge shot. Completely unbelievable. Nobody in the history of the world would ever do that. Which is why the buster chip upgrade is the worst armor upgrade from Mega Man X3. Mega Man X4 is the first Mega Man X game on the PlayStation 1 and the last Mega Man X game in the X Legacy Collection, and it has one of the best sets of armor in the entire series. Pretty much nothing in this set of armor is bad, so choosing the worst is going to be very challenging. I know someone in the comments section is probably already saying, but what but what about Zero's Black Armor? That literally does nothing. That must be the worst armor upgrade, right? Okay, well, first of all, random commenter that I literally made up, you can only get that armor by a cheat code. So that's not even an armor upgrade, it's a cheat code! But also, Zero's black armor is one of the coolest looking things I have ever seen in my entire life, so no, even if I were to count this thing, it would not be the worst. You fool. You imbecile. You would also think maybe the helmet upgrade would be the worst based off of the previous data, but nope. The helmet upgrade is actually the best upgrade in the game, and you would have known that too if you watched my best upgrades video. This thing literally gives you infinite weapon ammo, which is even more overpowered than it sounds. I did complain about the dash upgrade a little bit in the last video since all it does is let you hover and when compared to the one from Mega Man X3, it does look a little bit lame. But to be honest, I think I was being a bit harsh because this thing is actually super useful in terms of combat. Mega Man X3's dash is still my favorite and it's better for stuff like platforming, but the glide for Mega Man X4 seems to be the most useful for boss fights when they end up having those awkward hitboxes that are really hard to reach, so the dash upgrade is certainly not going to be the worst from this game. The chest upgrade once again reduces damage by half, but instead of giving you some strange temporary force field, this one gives you the giga attack back just like for Mega Man X2. It's a pretty solid upgrade overall, which makes it hard to call the worst, so I'm not going to call it the worst. This means that the buster upgrade must be the worst upgrade from Mega Man X4, but wait, there are two buster upgrades! They are completely interchangeable, but you're only able to pick one, meaning one of them is not only worse, but actively locks you out of using the better upgrade. I actually do not think any of the upgrades from Mega Man X4 are are straight up bad, so don't take this the wrong way, but I think it's clear that the buster upgrade that gives you four charge shots is by far the worst. I mean, this is a cool feature and everything, and sure, it does still let you charge up your weapons, but like, why can't you just be patient and charge up four charge shots by yourself? It's not that crazy of a task. Plus, the main reason that upgrade is the worst is because the other buster upgrade is one of my favorite buster upgrades of all time. This giant charge shot is definitely my favorite out of all the games, and I might even like it more than the one from Mega Man X2, which is why the other other one seems so much worse by comparison. This was a tough one because all of the upgrades are actually really good and useful, but when it comes down to it, the buster upgrade with the four loaded up charge shots is by far the worst upgrade from Mega Man X4. The X Legacy Collection 1 titles are now complete, but as we saw in the last video, the next few games have a lot more upgrades and they're a lot more complicated too, but we'll get to that in a second. First, I want to show you guys this cool upgrade capsule I got online. Now, Allegedly, I do have the correct firmware and everything installed, so this should work on myself, so let's try it and see what happens. Oh, yep, okay, alright, uh, 
Yeah, that was the Sigma virus, I think. Y okay, yeah, it was. It was the Sigma virus. Uh -huh. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure that'll come up at the most inconvenient time imaginable. Mega Man X5 is where most people say the series starts to go downhill, but those guys are dumb because this is the first Mega Man game to have two sets of armor. Technically, it has three, I guess, since you are able to use the armor from the last game as well, but since you get that from the start, I'm not counting it as an upgrade, so it's disqualified from this video. Also, there are two secret armors in this game, being the Ultimate Armor and Zero's Black Armor, but these are both awesome, so yeah, they aren't going to be the worst. What are you, dumb? Starting off with the Falcon Armor, though, the helmet is already a disappointment because it is a nerfed version of the one for Mega Man X4. Sure, the one for Mega Man X4 may be by far the best helmet of all time, but I mean, come on, you don't have to nerf it. We like that thing! The chest armor does the same thing as usual, having all the damage you take, as well as giving you a giga attack, and the leg armor upgrade allows you to fly around in the air while killing enemies. In the best armor upgrades video, I did make it seem like it was more like the Mega Man X4 gliding thing, but this one is significantly more useful. You might call me weird for this, but I still prefer the dash upgrade from Mega Man X3, but overall, this one is a very large improvement to the dash upgrade from Mega Man X4, so good job Mega Man X5 Falcon Armor's leg upgrade, you did good. The Buster upgrade is also pretty standard, allowing you to charge up your weapons as well as giving you a new giant charge shot ability. Overall, every upgrade in the Falcon Armor is extremely solid. I wouldn't say it's better than Mega Man X4's armor just because the infinite weapon ammo is so good, but the Falcon Armor is still a very high tier armor. The Gaia Armor, on the other hand, is not so great. Sure, it does have good leg armor, which allows you to walk on speed spikes, but that's about the only good thing about this armor. Everything else is pretty much just a nerf that you have to deal with for being able to finally walk on spikes. The chest upgrade is actually just like the chest upgrade from the Falcon armor, so that's actually fine, but the Buster upgrade is a weaker version of the Falcon Buster upgrade that only allows you to break specific bricks, similar to the helmet from Mega Man X1. Speaking of the helmet from Mega Man X1, the helmet from the Gaia armor in this game is obviously the worst upgrade in the entirety of Mega Man X5. Instead of allowing you to painstakingly break bricks with your head, this helmet upgrade allows you to move blocks with the letter V on them. I'm not gonna sit here and insult your intelligence by explaining to you how awful this is, so please just trust me when I say the Gaia Armor Helmet is by far the worst armor upgrade from Mega Man X5. Mega Man X6 has become the most hated Mega Man game of all time to the point where it even seems like more people hate this game than Mega Man X7. While I'm not going to get into that rivalry in this video, I will say that Mega Man X6 can certainly be a fun experience as long as you are prepared for it and the armor upgrades in this game really make Mega Man X6 look extra appealing. The armor upgrade system in this game is just like the one from Mega Man X5 except overall improved because instead of having a pretty decent set of armor and a horrible set of armor that's able to walk on spikes, you have a pretty decent set of armor and a really cool set of armor that's able to walk on spikes. Of course, I'm referring to the blade armor and the shadow armor, which are some of my favorite armors in the entirety of Mega Man X. Also, yes, you do start with the falcon armor from Mega Man X5 at the beginning of the game, and that armor is certainly awesome, but you don't unlock it, so it's technically not an armor upgrade in this game. You are also once again able to use cheat codes to get some cheater armor, but those aren't upgrades either, they're cheats, you cheater. Let's start off with the blade armor, though. Of course, the helmet is just like the one from Mega Man X5, meaning it reduces the amount of weapon energy you need for your attacks. Obviously, this isn't bad at all, but I mean, remember Mega Man X4? The chest upgrade also does the same as usual, reducing damage and giving you a giga attack, but the leg upgrade gives you the mock dash, which is just super cool. I love super cool dash upgrades, and I guess I'd still say the dash upgrade from Mega Man X3 is still my favorite, but this thing is certainly awesome, and I am not going to be calling it the worst upgrade from this game. The buster upgrade is also super cool, but it's not my favorite. It's not going to be the worst though, I can tell you that. The blade armor may be my favorite set of armor of all time, but part of that is because it looks so cool and I don't think I can count looks in this video, so I'm only going to do that secretly. The buster upgrade in this armor turns your normal lemons into ninja stars, which already makes me far too biased towards this upgrade to call it the worst, but it also gives you an incredibly powerful sword attack on top of that. The chest upgrade once again does the same damage reduction, but it does give you a unique giga attack, which I low-key prefer to the blade armors. The leg upgrade not only 
only allows you to walk on spikes, which is one of the coolest things ever, but it also allows you to cling to walls and sit upside down on ceilings. Now, I can't lie to you guys. I am a big fan of ninjas, not the streamer, not the streamer, the other ones. So you will never see me complaining about any of these upgrades. But the helmet upgrade is admittedly a little bit weaker when compared to all the rest. All it does is let you swing your sword faster, which is way more powerful than it sounds like, but even still, it's a little bit underwhelming. The helmet does give you the top part of your ninja armor, which is arguably the coolest looking part, but I did say I can't count the looks for this video, so yeah, this is going to hurt me to say, but the helmet upgrade in the shadow armor has unfortunately got to be the worst armor upgrade from Mega Man X6. Mega Man X7 is a very controversial Mega Man X game, but like we found out in the best upgrades video, this game only has four upgrades and not even any secret ones. That does mean this entry is going to be short, but I'm sure no one is going to be upset about that. I will be honest though, I think I may be the only person on the planet who does not hate Mega Man X7. I do think it's pretty fun overall, but at the same time, it is clearly the weakest game in the Mega Man X series. Anyway, let's look at the armor. The chest upgrade is the best one from this game, but only because every other armor upgrade is awful. All the chest upgrade does is reduce the damage taken by half as usual and it gives you that good old giga attack upgrade but that's about as good as armor in this game gets. It does also stop you from getting knocked back which is a huge plus in this game especially but I assume most of you guys haven't even played Mega Man X7 so you wouldn't understand that whole can of worms. The buster upgrade does allow you to charge your special weapons which is always nice but all the super charge shot does is shoot three little extra homing lemons at the end of your charge shot. I don't know I guess that's nice maybe but I really didn't even noticed that upgrade the first time I played this game. I legit thought the only thing the buster upgrade did was allow you to charge your weapons. The leg upgrade allows you to glide for a long period of time, but it's so stupid. It's only useful because the level design in this game is so weird, but this may be my least favorite leg upgrade of all time. I mean, come on, maybe if Mega Man X was a little bit faster than this, then the upgrade would not be so bad, but Mega Man X is practically paragliding through these levels. Doesn't he have rocket boosters on his feet or something? What is going on? But the worst upgrade of all is of course the helmet upgrade. This is obviously a common trend as far as Mega Man X upgrades go, but this specific helmet upgrade may have taken things too far. This helmet upgrade doesn't make you break bricks or break blocks or even find secrets. This helmet upgrade gives you a bigger pickup radius for enemy drops. Yep. That's it. This is the kind of upgrade that you would use in a phone app game, not for Mega Man X. Not only is this upgrade insulting, but it's violently repulsive to even think about, which is why it is by far the worst armor upgrade from Mega Man X7. Mega Man X8 is a massive improvement as far as armor is concerned from Mega Man X7 because it brings back the epic armor system from the previous games and improves upon it even further. There are some special New Game Plus only armors that I'm not going to be talking about, but other than those, there are two sets of armors in this game being the Icarus and Hermes armor. Starting with the Icarus armor, the helmet upgrade is a bit weird. It lets you kill enemies just by jumping near them, but despite being weird, this upgrade is not too bad, especially since the whole thing with the Icarus armor is upgrading your jump but that's besides the point. The buster upgrade gives you a super cool charge shot, the chest upgrade reduces damage, reduces knockback, and lets you get more medals, and the leg upgrade straight up doubles your jumping height, which is even more useful when combined with the helmet upgrade. I enjoy this set of armor overall, it's pretty solid, but it does seem a bit weird when you compare it to literally any other set of armor from Mega Man X, except for the Hermes armor. The Hermes armor has a very weird chest armor, which makes you completely invincible to weaker enemy attacks instead of just reducing all of your damage by half. This is super useful for speed running, especially when combined with the leg armor, which straight up doubles your speed. I love speed running, so this of course is great news to me, but even if you aren't a speed runner or into that kind of thing, it's still super fun to speed through Mega Man levels like some sort of Sonic character. The Buster upgrade gives you a triple charge shot, which is pretty cool, but I do prefer the giant charge shot that the Icarus Buster gives you, but I wouldn't blame anyone for preferring this one instead. But the worst upgrade from Mega Man X8 has got to be the Hermes Helmet Upgrade. I'm sorry guys, I know I picked a helmet pretty much every single time in this video, but I mean, hey, come on, it's not my fault the helmet upgrades suck. This one actually isn't all that bad, but it seems like the worst from the game because all it does is allow you to charge up charge shots faster. Yeah, this is kind of useful and convenient, but when compared to literally every other upgrade, it seems super underwhelming, which is why the Hermes helmet upgrade is the worst armor upgrade from Mega Man X8. Those were the worst upgrades from every Mega Man X game X through X8. As always, 
I hope you all enjoyed, but now that we're done with the Mega Man X armor series, what other videos do you guys want to see on Mega Man X? Comment down below if you have any ideas, and if you're a subscriber, I'll listen to you. But uh, if you're one of those darn haters who's not subscribed, I I'm literally illiterate, okay? There's no point in saying anything. I won't read it. There's no way. <laughs>